Dear 11th standard students, in exercise number 2.4, sum number 3, if alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation, form quadratic equation with the zeros 1 by alpha and 1 by beta. x square, x square plus root 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 is the given quadratic equation. Alpha plus beta, sum of the roots formula, minus b by a from 10th standard. This is my a, this is my b, this is my c. A out of coefficient, x squared coefficient na a, x out of coefficient na b, constant is c. But minus b by a na minus root 2 by 1 answer is minus root 2. Alpha into beta is c by a, c by a is c3, a one the coefficient of x square, 1 na 3. I want a quadratic equation with the roots 1 by alpha and 1 by beta. First, na sum of the roots. Sum of the roots. This is 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta. This formula is alpha, beta, LCM, cross multiply, beta plus alpha. Alpha plus beta would answer the ready minus root 2 by alpha into beta would answer 3. Then, sum of the roots ready. Then, product of the roots. Product of the roots now 1 by alpha into 1 by beta is equal to 1 by alpha beta is equal to alpha beta. What answer would be ready for you? 3. I want a quadratic equation. The formula will be x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots is equal to 0. But x square minus sum of the roots in the 1 by alpha 1 by beta which you put minus root 2 by 3. Plus product of the roots 1 by 3 is equal to 0. But your answer will be x square minus minus plus side x square plus root 2 x port. Root 2 x by 3 plus 1 by 3 is equal to 0. This will be my quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Then if you want to multiply by 3, you can multiply fully all the terms by 3. You will be getting the final answer. But book answer long like you put it on x square plus root 2, 3 by x plus 1 by 3. And I'll either stop and get the quadratic. Quadratic x square on the lead quadratic. Thank you.